Hi, my name is Tendai, and today I wanted to make a quick video. I'm just look, I'm dressed like this because I'm, I'm actually about to take the dogs out. Hang on, one of them's like really looking at me. Hang on. Uh, she she's sitting there because she's eager to go out. Um, this is Miss Demeanor, Missy Elliot, short Missy. Um, she's sitting by my feet because she's like, yo, can you take us out? Because I take them out like three times a day and she's eager to go out. So taking them out this morning, got to take them out again. You having a good lick, yeah? Can you just give me like 10 minutes? Let me just quickly make this video while I've got this thought or this trailer thought in my head and then we can go out. Right, let me just put you down for a sec. So, um, this is the first time I've, I've ridden in winter in four years. Now, um, prior to that, I used to ride almost, well, I used to ride five days a week um, commuting to work and then probably go out on the weekend and do my longer rides over the weekend. And prior to going out yesterday morning, I said to myself, I need to be safe out there. I need to be cautious because it looked icy. It was very cold. And I was like, just be careful. You know, you're going out on the bike. It's going to be slippery out there. But for some reason, as soon as I left my house, that all went out the window because I was like, oh, it's cold. I need to warm up. And I was, I was getting up really quick. And I took the first turning onto Milverton Road pretty, pretty hard, which was cool. But as I now went to go around the bend on Milverton, I forgot that there was a drain and it was pretty icy and the drains are really, really slippery. I hit that drain and I went over straight away and I regretted it as, as, I, as I was going down. I, could, I just knew I was going down and there was no way of stopping it and I ended up damaging my rear derailleur um, and my front shifter on the uh, on the right handlebar and the uh, the seat is pretty damaged as well. I'm gonna give you close-ups of them. Um, so I thought I'd make this video just to say um, in the colder climates or in wet conditions, you cannot take corners as hard or as fast as you normally would. Um, so you need to be careful. A aside from um, needing safety things like uh, lights like this one here uh, which does break in and stuff like that um, so you need um, things that are gonna make you safe out there uh, so yeah this is a this is a good light to have because as you break it comes on so drivers can see you and other riders can see that you're actually stopping and they'll stop so good little things like this uh, help uh, in winter conditions. I've also got um, lights on my helmet. This is this is actually my, my helmet, it matches my bike. <laughs> but on my helmet, I've got um, this rear light, which has got four modes. I like the Knight Rider. This is the one I usually have because it's very prominent and drivers definitely see it. There's no way they can miss this unless they're absolutely blind. And then you've got this one here, or you've got the faster Knight Rider looking movement going on. But this is the, the, the mode that I like because I think it grabs people's attention more than the other light. Uh, so there's that one. And then my front facing light has only got three modes, which is on, flashing. Actually, it's got four modes, sorry. It's got on, which is quite bright. And then it's got a slightly dimmed one. And it's got this flashing mode and it's got another faster flashing mode. So this is the one I normally have it on um, so that there's no way our driver is going to miss me. I've also got... Hang on, let me grab it. This light which goes on the bike. Um, which is very good. Um, this is my front facing light. And I've got the, the beam, or the Lucia by the beam. Uh, which is another light similar to this one which is breaking. Unfortunately, this is not working at the moment. And Lucia or oh, should I say the beam have contacted me or they've got back to me to say that they're going to send me out a replacement. I just needed to send them a quick video just stating what's happened with the light and they will provide me with the with the replacement as soon as possible, which is awesome. Um, aside from that, that's it really. So yeah, just be careful when cycling out there. It's very, very dangerous. Uh, I still managed to... So I, I went down 0.3 miles into my ride and I managed to do a further 102.1 miles. <laughs> so yeah, it wasn't a deterrent. I'm, I'm feeling it today. I've got a bit of road rash on my hip. Um, my right glute is very tender. 
so yeah, I'm moving a bit gingerly and it was a bit uncomfortable sleeping, but aside from that, I'm, I'm well, I'm healthy, I'm happy. But yeah, I'm gonna give you the close-ups of the derailleur, which is screwed. And then my gears need um, indexing because my gears are out now. Uh, I think the, um, the mount is not bent, thank God for that. But I just think where I, I, it, I went on the rear derailleur, the indexing is out. I need to re-index them. I tried it on the road. Uh, I actually need to get it on a stand and do it properly. So I'll do a separate video of me indexing my gears um maybe today or tomorrow it just depends i'm gonna go um, take the dogs for a walk um and then yeah I'll, I'll come back and do some editing and then get tomorrow's show ready so i'll probably do it for monday now um so yeah i'll, I'll do a video of me indexing my rear derailleur for monday and making sure that my gears are working and then you guys can see how to index your gears as well at the same time aside from that have a happy new year i hope you had a good christmas happy new year all the best wishes for 2021. 2020 has been an awesome year for me. Uh, I've had no complaints. Um, I've had amazing, loving people around me. Um, great support. 2020 has got me back on my bike. Can't be bad yet. When I say it's got me back on my bike, it's got me back on a bike. It's not my original bike that I had. I bought this recently. So 2020 has been a good year. Uh, I can't complain. Thank you very much for 2020. I look forward to 2021. It's only going to get better. It's only going to get better no matter what's going on out there. So long as what you do for you is good, it's only gonna get better for you. So yeah, I'm gonna go take the dogs for a walk. I'll give you a quick close ups of this. And then uh, I'm gonna put a few stills of one of my really good friends going down uh, on a bike in Windsor because of bad conditions again. Uh, so yeah, just be careful when taking those, those corners uh, because it's so easy to go down. It doesn't matter how long you've been riding. I've been riding for a very long time and I'm, I'm a very, very, very competent and confident rider. And I hit a drain. Next minute I was on the floor and the only thing that was going through in my mind was my bike. <laughs> so yeah, now I've got that out of the way. I've, I've dropped on it. The, the frame is fine. It's just the derailleur, the shifter and the seat that are damaged. Aside from that, be safe out there. Lots of love, take care, see you in the next one. Safety on the road should always be paramount in any cyclist's mind. As the weather changes, it equals greater hazards, especially in winter months. To help you stay safe, I compiled a list of my top safety tips for road cycling. Number one, adapt your riding style. Two, ride to the conditions. Three, winterproof your bike. Four, wear reflective or high-vis gear. Five, fit good bike or helmet lights. Six, clean your bike regularly. Seven, ensure you're dressed suitably for your riding conditions. And number eight, be aware of metal surfaces such as drain covers, which can be icy when other road surfaces are not. As you can see, the rear derailleur is uh, slightly scuffed there. Um, yeah, I try and keep my bikes in pristine condition. So I'm a bit disappointed that I actually went down and in the manner that I went down. But aside from that, it's all good. And then if I come up here, you're going to see the seat. Um, there you go, the seat is scuffed. So yeah, new rear derailleur, new seat. And uh, I don't know if I need any shifter. And what I might do is I might actually get that sanded down and resprayed by one of my friends who's got a body shop. So I'm just going to get the... Uh, the front shifter, I'm not going to replace it. I'll just get it uh, sanded down and uh, resprayed, uh, and then that way I don't have to do anything to that. I might even actually do exactly the same with the rear derailleur, maybe just change the seat um, because this seat is comfortable as it is, and the, the fact that I like it because it matches my, my bike, um, it's not the most comfortable of seats, and as you can see, it's not suitable for uh, the manly bits. So yeah, that's getting replaced. If you like my video, please hit the subscribe button. Um, that's if you're new to my channel. And don't forget to hit the like button. If you've got any questions, put them in the comment section or anything that you might like to add, put it in the comment section. Anything that you might like to see in future, put it in the comment section. Thank you very much. Share the hell out of this video and I will see you in 2021. Happy New Year to you all. Bye for now.